What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can remove a background inside Microsoft Office. Now Microsoft Office has been around for a long time and we're going to be using version 2013 but you can also do this inside 2016 and older versions as well. Now it doesn't really matter whether you're using Word, PowerPoint, Excel or any of those other programs that comes bundled with uh, Microsoft Office you can use the same method in all those programs. So let's get started. So I'm going to open up Word here and uh, what we're going to do is quickly open up a blank document and now we need to insert our picture. I'll quickly show you uh, how to do this on a say a bowl of fruit or something like that which is pretty straightforward. There you go. That'll do. We're going to insert that in there. We're going to make this a little bit bigger here so you can see what I'm doing. Now once we've got this uh, fully sized start that we're going to click on the picture itself and then we want to come up to where it says format picture tools and then you should be able to see remove background click on remove background and then it will all go purple and these little bullet points here that you see you can use these to extend where you want to um, take the background out of so we're just going to move this out to where the bowl of fruit is we're just going to extend that a little bit further there like so. Now if we pull the bottom up this will all start to come into play here. Like so you see it pulling in just a little bit further. Okay that will do. You can mess around with it a little bit more. Now there's also some other tools up the top here which you can see mark areas to keep and mark areas to remove and this just basically uh, is a little line that you pull like this and it will remove those areas so for argument's sake if you was trying to remove this apple here you would say mark areas to remove and you wanted to move this apple inside here you would then select inside here until you got the apple to remove it does like a some sort of smart analysis of that object and then tries to highlight it all so this will remove the apple and also the background but we want to keep the apple in there so you can undo these if you wish and the, it works in reverse if you want to keep items so you could just use the mark areas to keep okay and that's that so once we've got our selection made we can keep these changes and there you go we now have that background removed pretty straightforward so we're going to go to design here and I'll quickly show you the page background colors as you can see it does a pretty good job I'll change these colors here to some random colors as you can see and it does a pretty good job at removing those as you can see there now also you can do other things inside the uh, word if you want to see more about uh, office products let me know and I can do some videos for you if you're not interested then let me know in the comments section below um, but it's a pretty useful tool and uh, to learn and you see you've got all your images here you can change backgrounds and and stuff like that here as well which will help you make your there's a nice little blurred one there as you can see and loads if you're doing blogging and stuff like that can come in pretty handy and it's very quick and easy and simple to do so that's basically how you can remove a background of a photo or an image inside Microsoft Office my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos also, if you've got any problems with your computers or any questions or anything like that or video requests, you can head over to my forum. The information's on the screen right now. If you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then also you can go over to that location there on the screen and uh, join up over there. It's a simple uh, like feature. You just hit the like button. It doesn't cost you a penny. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.